Hello cozy friends, welcome or welcome back to the Cozy Herbert channel. If you're new here, my name is Lynn and uh, before we get started I just want to say I'm using a microphone so hopefully it does like a little bit of noise cancellation. There are as usual kids playing outside, neighborhood kids. Um, so if you hear like any screaming in the distance just pretend that there are like ghouls, screeching ghouls in the distance, okay? Trying to get into the Halloween mood here. But um, as you saw I have finished decorating for Halloween for this year and I'm so excited. I absolutely love this time of year and just pulling out all of my decorations is just so much fun each and every year. I'm excited about how it turned out this year because I like place decorations in different places. It's just fun to make it look a little bit different each and every year. I also try to do the same with Christmas but we'll talk about that in like a few weeks. But yeah anyway um, just let me know have you been decorating for Halloween as well? Um, is that something you'd like to do? Just let me know in the comments down below. As for other Halloweenish activities for this video I have actually planned to go into town and just check out of the Halloween decor and the shops. Um, however, in typically like Halloween horror fashion, this coming week is supposed to become really dark and stormy, rainy. So I'm not sure I'm going to make it. I'm not sure I'll be able to do this. So if not, then we will definitely do like a cozy, scary town visit um, next week in next week's video. Um, but anyway, what we'll definitely be doing in this video is that we're going to do some reading. Currently I'm reading The Pumpkin Spice Cafe, which is not a scary book. But once I finish that, I'm definitely going to choose one of my many, many witchy books, which I've accumulated over the last few months. Um, so I'm excited to dive into one of those and then I'll tell you more about like the plot and my thoughts. So I'm excited for that. And I am also planning on doing some Halloweenish drawing. I've already made a cute sketch the other day. So I'm excited to do like the outline and coloring. So we'll do that together in this video. So yeah, and maybe we'll do some other stuff too. We'll see. But anyway, I hope that you're all doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you will enjoy your time here. And um, let's just um, have a cozy Halloweenish time together. And I'll check in with you later again, okay?
Hey friends, so um, it worked out because the storm that is supposed to come and haunt us um, has been postponed for two days. So it's really lovely today. So we are going, my sister is doing this today. Hi. Hi. So we are going to, like I said before, going to check out all of the shops and look at their Halloween decor. And, um, but anyway, we are on our way to have some lunch first because we are very hungry. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And then after that, it is time to get spooky. <laughs> so, catch you then.
Happy Halloween. Hey friends, so we are back home and I saw so many cool Halloween things. Like there are so many things I would love to have, but um, <laughs> there, there was just like too much. But anyway, I did buy one really cute Halloweenish decoration. So I couldn't resist this one because it is such an awesome pumpkin. And I've already put in some lights, like some fairy lights. And even you put them on, this is what it looks like. Oh, isn't it awesome? It is so cool. So yeah, I absolutely adore this one. Like I can never have enough pumpkins. So um, this one is so pretty. I absolutely love it. So I couldn't resist this one. Like I said, I got this one from Flying Tiger. And while I was at Flying Tiger, I also bought something else. But I didn't film that because I didn't want to like interrupt the spooky flow. But I've been looking for a new... Uh, daily diary for 2025 when i saw this one i just knew i had to have this one it is like really simple there's nothing like really special about it but i just really adore like the classic simple look of this one it's just so pretty it's just your basic diary of course so you've got the times here and then you've got like your um a to-do list and your like little bullet note thingy to take some extra notes here are today's goal so i really love it but lots of space to like write down stuff like things i need to do it will help me to plan my uh, my vlogs it will help me out with my future and for now hypothetical etsy shop which is coming um so yeah i absolutely love it and i also felt this was like really handy because i can, can stick my pen here like this so then i've always got like a pen to write with um yeah i love it i love it so i'm very happy with my diary i'm actually ridiculously happy with my diary but um it's the little things <sighs> but yeah anyway that was the halloween decor tour of this year i've been doing it ever since i started this channel so the first one was back in 2022 this one last year 2023 as well and this year it was really fun to do it again because you know some decorations like remain the same in some of the shops but especially like flying tiger always updates their um the decorations each and every year so it's always fun to go there um yeah absolutely loved it anyway i am actually pretty exhausted after today i had a really fun time and i'm pretty tired and i am ready to go back into a full homey homebody hermit mode so uh, we're gonna take it easy for the rest of this video but um yeah today was a good day i had lots of fun i hope that you enjoyed seeing the decorations as well anyway let's get on with this video and we will talk to each other a little bit later <laughs>
friends so before we go to wrap up this halloweenish video i want to have like a quick little book talk with you guys because um earlier in this video i finished reading the pumpkin spice cafe and i was really enthusiastic about it before i started reading it and after the first few chapters i was still like enjoying it um, but I guess in hindsight, this actually, this book wasn't what I expected it to be. Um, I'll first explain what it is about. It's about a young woman called Jeannie, who's from the city. And, um, well, she has experience with stuff and now she just feels like, kind of like overworked. And then her aunt leaves her the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. And she, and Jeannie decides like, this is like, the perfect opportunity to start a new life in a small town which is so different from living in the city so she decides to take over the cafe and start to run it and then she meets local farmer Logan who is for some reason very cranky at least at the start of the book and that's where like a relationship blooms to life and goes through some ups and downs before they actually end up together okay I mean I'm not spoiling anything you already know what is going to happen and I expected this book to be fluffy I expected it to be predictable um, but I also expected there to be a bit more depth to it and actually more coziness I didn't really feel much of that I couldn't really connect with the characters either um, so I guess uh, this book actually wasn't for me and I'm really really disappointed I have to say this I actually hate having to say anything negative about about a book or about anything really um, because I know how much effort and time uh, goes into books, movies, series, video games. Like people put their heart and soul into it. And I'm just really sad that I didn't connect with this book at all. So um, if you really enjoyed this book, I hope you don't hate me. And then I'm really sorry if I might have offended you. <laughs> but um, it just wasn't what I hoped it would be. I expected a little bit more. And I just felt for me the characters felt a little bit flat and shallow and like I said I really actually really couldn't connect with them at all um there were some moments that I enjoyed there were some like funny moments but I expected more like coziness and more to get like an actual feel for small town life and every time I thought I would get it then it would be over in an instant. There was like a farmer's market. It was like, oh great, the farmer's market. I love reading about those. And it was over before it even began. And the same was for like kind of a Halloween party near the end. It was over before it actually began. I don't know. I, I didn't get the chance to soak up the the old me cozy atmosphere which i was actually looking for and for some reason while i was reading this book i was actually weirdly enough reminded of a book called cackle by rachel harrison which is a book i read last year uh, a little bit after halloween actually which is also like a, a book that takes place in a small town about a, a young woman who moves from the city into a small town and um that was that book is actually like has a bit of a witchy angle and kind of has some horror aspects in there that can be quite scary, especially near the end. But actually, Cackle felt so much cozier to me than the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. So if you are looking for like a really cozy small town book, only this time with a fantasy angle. I mean, the Pumpkin Spice Cafe doesn't have fantasy, but Cackle does. Uh, please give Cackle a try if you haven't read it already, because that book is awesome. It is absolutely amazing. I actually need to stop myself from wanting to read it again this year, but I'm like, I'm not doing that because whenever I read a book too soon, which I've already read before, then I just kind of like lose interest real quickly. So I'm just forcing myself to wait a few years before I pick back up Cackle again and I actually still really want to check out other works by Rachel Harrison but um, that is like a really fun Halloween recommendation um, if you're looking for one so Cackle once more amazing I love I love that book so much anyway speaking of witchy books um, I of course I finished the Pumpkin Spice Cafe so I've already moved on to another book and the book I chose to read which I thought would be like really perfect for this time of year is the very secret society of irregular witches and oh my god I'm like only in chapter five at this point and I love it already like that is like the difference for me between the book I'm reading now and the Pumpkin Spice Cafe in the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, I couldn't connect to the characters even after reading the full book. And um, reading the Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches, very long title, um, 
I already feel so deeply connected to all of the characters after only a few chapters. Like there was even like a side character, I think somewhere sometime in chapter four. And um, I don't even think he'll come back in later in the book, but I already just liked him. I even like the main character's dog, okay? I feel deeply connected to that dog because the dog is adorable. It's a golden retriever. I love golden retrievers. But um, jokes aside, I am enjoying it so much. So the very secret society of irregular witches is about uh, Mika Moon, who is a 30-something witch. And witches are not supposed to like live together because when witches come together, the magic that like comes forth from their proximity to each other can be so incredibly strong that like really um well lots of witchy and magical things start to happen and uh the like normal people normal average people are supposed to know about witches so this is how the witches um you know like keep them keep their existence a secret to really keep themselves safe anyway mika is currently without a job and she runs a social media account like some kind of instagram page on which she shares like really fun videos of being a witch but she's like pretending to be a witch in those videos but somehow someone has like recognized that she is an actual witch and he has asked her to come over because he has like three very young witches just children uh, under his care who really are in need of a witchy tutor because they their their magical powers are out of control and after going back and forth a little mika decides to teach those children to teach those really young witches to learn how to like harness their powers and how to control them so that is in short what it is about and i love it so much it is also like very british the humor is very like dry and and subtle but it is it is like really fun it is really fun so this book is also like kind of light-hearted but there's already a certain depth to it and a certain depth to the characters which makes me really but well, which makes me feel really invested in the story so i'm enjoying it so much i think i made a very good choice as one of my october reads so um i continue reading it i'll probably finish reading it in next week's video and then i share my final thoughts on it and then i'll probably choose another witchy book i'm going to read next because i i've accumulated so many of them over the past few months and i cannot wait to dive into each and every one of them and this is like the perfect time for it so uh the sun is suddenly very blinding um so yeah that is my bookish talk for the end of this video i'm going to wrap this up now because this video is already quite long again i keep doing it but i'm excited to see you guys again next week for another witchy halloweenish video I'm really excited i uh, hope you're looking forward to it as well and i hope that you enjoyed this one too and if you did please consider hitting that like button maybe even subscribe to the cozy hermit channel if you haven't already and until we meet each other again, as always, stay cozy and stay witchy. See you guys next time.